what's up guys it's cameron here back with another video if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload so i actually am filming this intro after i finish taking my shower but let's just ignore that today i'm going to be showing you guys my in-depth shower routine i'm really into hygiene and i wanted to kind of share with you guys what i like to do and what works best for me you guys will see throughout the video that i do like to match my scents so i went with kind of like a mango theme today i'm just gonna get on into the shower routine because it is pretty in depth so i'm gonna be throwing a lot of info at you guys so without further ado let's get on into the video okay so i'm starting off by just rinsing some water all throughout my hair and i'm going in with the avita botanical repair shampoo i really have been loving this shampoo so much lately it is a little bit on the pricier side but it honestly moisturizes my hair so well i do struggle with pretty dry hair and a dry scalp and this shampoo has been really really helping so honestly it is so worth the money and a little bit really does go a long way like i only use the smallest amount and i really just make sure to focus on my scalp and my roots when shampooing my hair so now I'm going in with a hair mask. I definitely do not use a hair mask every shower. I use this one about once every two weeks. This is just the Shea Moisture Intense Hydration Mask. And I absolutely love this one so much. It really helps with hydration. I really use a lot throughout my hair because I love it so much. And then I just clip it up and put on a clear shower cap to lock in the moisture. So now it's time to exfoliate. So if you know me, you know I love my Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs. I feel like everyone honestly loves them. I'm using my exfoliating glove to also exfoliate. If you have more sensitive skin, I would recommend only using one, not both. There's so many benefits to exfoliating. Some include getting rid of dead skin cells, helping with cellulite, helping with dark spots, strawberry legs, razor burn, all that kind of stuff. But I really do like to exfoliate before shaving because it also really helps to loosen up the hair follicles which gives you a cleaner and closer shave if you do notice my skin looks a little bit red it's not irritation or anything my skin just tends to get really red when i shower with really hot water i'm also exfoliating my feet i did get a pedicure today so i didn't do any in-depth exfoliating with that i definitely do not exfoliate every day it's something i normally do only like two to three times a week after rinsing that off i'm going in with the first aid beauty kp bump eraser scrub and i'm I'm just using this on my arms because I actually struggle with keratosis polaris on my arms which are those little red bumps and this scrub has really really helped that so now it's time to shave I've been loving the flamingo foaming shave gel so much it makes my skin so smooth and gives me such a clean shave so my favorite razor is the joy razor and I love this because it actually has a Gillette razor head so men's razors are supposed to be a lot better than women's razors don't really know why but but it actually has the same razor head as a Gillette men's razor, but it's just like a girlier one. And I feel like it just gives me the cleanest shave ever. I'm obsessed with it. And you guys can just see me shaving in an upward motion. And here I am using the same products to shave my armpits. I do shave my armpits in a downward motion. So after shaving is when I like to rinse out my hair mask because I don't like to leave it in my hair for too, too long, but just long enough so that, you know, it really locks in all the moisture. So after rinsing that out, I'm just going to use my conditioner. So again, using the Avita Botanical Repair Conditioner, the same as the shampoo. And again, a little bit really does go a long way. So I'm just putting it all throughout my hair. And I do like to detangle my hair while the conditioner's in it because it gets super knotty. So I'm using a tangle teaser brush and just brushing through. I know I make the ugliest faces when I brush my hair. Ignore that. So while the conditioner sits in my hair, I'm going in with the CeraVe SA Body Wash for rough and bumpy skin. And I'm using this all over my body because it makes me feel really clean and it's very moisturizing. But I actually like to target it on my arms where I have KP because this body wash really helps with that. But it also really helps for after shaving to prevent razor bumps. It helps with strawberry legs, all that kind of stuff.
and now I'm just rinsing that off and I'm going in with my tree hud shea moisturizing body wash and the mango scent to match our mango body scrub and again just using the loofah and lathering this up all over my body focusing on those underarms my neck and also cleaning my back don't forget about your back this was my first time using this specific scent of the tree hut body wash i really do like the tree hut body washes they're super moisturizing and this scent just smells so amazing and the scent really did last so long it had me smelling so good after and i really liked it and now I'm taking my Dove Bar Soap and I'm using this to deodorize, just using it all under my arms to make myself smell nice and clean and fresh. And now I'm going in with the Honey Pot Sensitive Foaming Wash for my downstairs area. You guys don't need to see that. And now I'm just using my CeraVe face wash. This is the hydrating cream to foam face wash, my absolute favorite. And you guys can see that I'm really focusing on not only cleaning my face, but also my ears and behind my ears and my neck. And now I'm just rinsing out the rest of the conditioner in my hair. After that's all rinsed out, I like to either use baby oil or a body conditioner and you guys can just see me putting this all over my body. I think it really helps for after shaving. And now I'm just using a Turby Twist microfiber hair towel to tie my hair back and, you know, wrapping myself in my towel and drying off before getting into my body care. All right, guys, I just got out of the shower. I feel like people really don't realize how much work filming a shower routine is, and my floor is literally soaking wet, and I need to make sure I get everything dried up and get these soaking wet towels in the wash before my mom comes up here because she won't be happy. Anyways, we're going to clean my ears. I always do this after the shower. I don't do it every single day, but I do it like every two or three days just because you're not supposed to clean your ears every day, um, but I literally love cleaning my ears. It's the best feeling ever. And then after cleaning my ears, I usually do my oral care and my skin care, which I'm going to do off camera if you guys want to see a whole video on like oral care hygiene let me know i've already done a skincare routine it is not fully updated so if you guys would like to see an updated one i can definitely do that soon the reason i like to do oral care and skincare before body care is because i feel like you know you don't want to have the like body products on your hands when you're doing your skincare obviously you can wash your hands but you know i just like to do my skincare first and my oral care for oral care first and then i go back in for the body care so i'm gonna go do that right now and then i'll come back for body care and show you guys what i'm using after all right guys my skincare is done my skin is feeling so fresh and now i'm gonna move on to body care so for my downstairs area i always moisturize with the johnson's baby oil gel this is the aloe and vitamin e one i also love the lavender one and the cocoa butter one they all smell amazing but i pretty much just use this for down there because it is used for babies so it is very sensitive but of course you want to make sure you're not using it inside anywhere always on the outer areas and i also not only like to put this down there but i like to put this on my wrist and a little bit on my neck because that's where i tend to spray my perfume and i feel like it allows the perfume to really stick on my body i don't like to put it on my entire body because it is very greasy and oily and I feel like things like really cling to it but if you have really dry skin and you feel like this will help you for your entire body I really recommend doing that so we're gonna put this on put it on my wrists and my neck so right there kind of just like my forearms and my wrists and this one smells literally amazing it smells so clean and then we'll be right back okay we're back so the next thing that I do is I use this gold bomb rough and bumpy skin cream and I just like to put this on my arms because I do have KP on my arms as I talked about earlier on in the video I like to do a lot of things that are really gonna help my KP so I think that this really helps the thing with this cream is though it does get super patchy and like flaky so you want to make sure not to use too much of it so we're just gonna put some of this on a little bit goes a long way also if you deal with razor burn or, or strawberry legs this will be helpful for any of that all right and for the rest of my body I'm gonna go in with the Victoria's Secret Mango Temptation body lotion i absolutely love this scent it goes so well with the tree hut mango body wash and body scrub and it just smells super tropical and yummy so i'm really excited i am a fan of the victoria's secret body lotions but i know a lot of people aren't because they are a little watery they are not the most moisturizing body lotion so if you do have drier skin i probably would recommend using like another more moisturizing lotion before using this one because this would really just be for scent for you okay so now i went in with my body lotion so i'm going to spray some body spray so like i said i'm using the victoria's secret mango temptation body spray spray along with the body lotion it's gonna smell so good together i'm gonna make the smell a lot stronger when you use matching ones usually i'll also go in with the perfume along with the body spray but i don't really have any perfumes that i feel like would complement the mango scent well so i'm just gonna spray this all over targeting the wrist 
where we sprayed that oil and the neck. And then I also just like to spray all of my body. All right, and I won't be doing my entire hair care routine, but I am just gonna put a serum in my hair really quick. So I'm just gonna be using this BioSilk Silk Therapy Serum. Just put a bunch all in my hair. It just makes my hair super soft and shiny. And I almost forgot to show you guys the deodorant that I use. I use the Dove Sensitive 0% Aluminum Deodorant. I did start going aluminum free a few months back. It does take some time to get used to, but I absolutely love it. And I really recommend this specific one. It smells amazing. So I'm just going to put my deodorant on. All right guys, so I just threw on my comfy fuzzy robe and I'm about to get dressed after this, but I did want to close out this video really quick. I really hope that you all enjoyed my in-depth shower routine video. If you guys did like this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!